For the second time this winter, a person experiencing homelessness in Portland has been killed. Portland police found Nick Gardner dead last week. They are now investigating his death as a homicide. New Center Mate's Jack Moment is live from the Fort River Parkway near the encampment where Gardner was found. Jack. Hey, Zach and Chris. His name was Nicholas Gardner, but for friends and family who knew him closely, his real name was Little Wolf. I spoke with his mother over Facebook, who says that they are from the Passamaquoddy tribe. She describes her son as a free spirit. She says he was raised in Callis, Maine. She tells us tribal police will be escorting his body back to the area this weekend. Now, where we are right now, this is the, near the encampment where Little Wolf lived at, according to sources within the unhoused community. Police say they found his body here in the afternoon on January 18th. They first ruled it suspicious, but are now saying that he was killed. This is the second killing reported among people experiencing homelessness in Portland since the fall. In November, police say 23-year-old Bethany Kelly was killed in the West Bayside neighborhood. I caught up today with Shay Dufour, who is formerly homeless herself and is now involved with bringing people experiencing crisis to shelter. These are human beings. They're not doormats. They're not bums. These are people just like you and I, only they have no income, low income, and they're unhoused but there's still somebody's daughter, son, friend, you know, and it's sad and it's very, very sad. And we, we don't know from one minute to the next, is there gonna be another murder tomorrow? Now regarding Bethany Kelly and Little Wolf, there have been no updates as to who killed them and police have not re released a cause of death yet, but they say both are still ongoing homicide investigations. Now regarding Little Wolf, his mother told me over Facebook that there will be a celebration of life when he gets taken to his hometown of Callis. They'll actually be having a ceremony near the town of Eastport at the Pleasant Point Passamaquoddy Reservation. That's Saturday at 11 a.m. We will have details online at News Center Maine. Zach, Chris. All right, Jack, thanks very much.